Well, it is August 1st, 2020. How July slipped by. And I must say, I feel well rid of it, despite some positive stuff. Um, this past week was, by and large, a very lousy one for me, if I am to be honest. And why would I not be honest? Um, started well after the last uh, video. I finished up the Steve Hackett book, which was wonderful. I mean, that was a wonderful book. Tuesday was my go-to-the-store day. Twice in one day. I had two different stores to go to, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, is how it worked out. So Monday, I was feeling run down and tired and sore. My nerves, you know, in my leg and everything were bothering me. My muscles were bothering me a lot. I was having a very sore back. And I said, I'm going to try and get to sleep early because I have to wake up early for me anyway. I'm sure that you get up much earlier than I do, but um, I'm usually up till three, four in the morning. So I get about eight hours of sleep. So I'm, I'm usually up 11 or 12, but I had to get up by nine. So I said, oh, I'll try and go to sleep at one something, which was stupid on my part, as I ended up going to sleep probably a little after three. And that was all well and fine. I wasn't the most comfortable, but I was, you know, getting some sleep. And then at 12 minutes after five, someone I know accidentally butt dialed me. So from 12 minutes after five on, I could never get back to sleep. I tried, I sort of half dozed. And by the time it was time to go out, I was already exhausted on a hot and very humid day with a way sore back to go to ShopRite in Norwalk, which has probably some of the longest aisles in a, a supermarket. Um, I think only rivaled by, say, Home Depot. That'd be a good analogy. And so did my shopping, got done, uh, it was an ordeal, I have to say. I just felt physically very bad. And so I was waiting. Uh, after I checked out, I had to wait for my friend for about a half hour. And so they have benches that say that these benches are temporarily not to be used, which I took as meaning, sit right down, John. So I did. And where the benches were in, in sort of the entranceway, it was warm. It wasn't blazing hot, but it was pretty warm and there were no shadows light was just pouring down through the glass my face i was seeing spots in my eyes it was almost like what they describe as like being snow blind or something so because there was nothing to stop the sun from just beating right down on my face i was the the benches were in exactly the wrong place for that so i ended up half the time like this covering my face so as not to uh you know get totally blinded out all the while wearing a mask of course so it just everything felt hot and I felt lousy and run down and I got back home and and then it was time to go back out and do it again to go to stop and shop with my sister and a few other places she had to go so that was long and dragged out and I just I felt by the time I got in her car to come home. I was pretty much soaked through my clothes and I was so, so dehydrated that I couldn't pee for like six hours or so, which I don't mean to get graphic, but you know, we're all adults here, aren't we? Hopefully. Um, and it was just a rotten day. And to make matters worse, I took a nap and that was Tuesday and when I woke up from the nap, I had a stiff neck on my left, pardon me, on my right side. The John secret fact, I am partially dyslexic. This is true. Um, and I still have this uh, reminder of a fun day. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday, I did not much of anything. Just felt lousy. Thursday, hey, it was Kate Bush's birthday, so I made a little video for Kate Bush's birthday, which I'm sure some of you have seen and some of you haven't, because I know at least a few people 
on my list that do not like them, the Kate Bush, which is fine. You know, we all like different stuff. That's what keeps life interesting. Um, also on that day, Thursday, I popped into Twitch to watch my friend Leanna up in Canada. I play a game that I think it's called Ghost of uh, Tsushima. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Um, which, not my cup of tea, but you know what? It was wonderful to see a friend of mine spend some truly happy time. It was it was so good to see her, and, and she's put up with a lot of crap in her life and has a lot of stuff going on. And it was just nice to see her enjoying herself, so clearly enjoying herself. Um, it sounds weird to go, what did you do? Well, I sat and I looked at a computer and watched someone else play a game that I didn't play. But, you know what? It was worth every second of it. So, good for you, Leanna. And I'm so glad to, to see you happy. Um, and Friday, eh, not much of anything. You know, again, I've been kind of a, a run-down nub of myself. I'm hoping that uh, I feel better next week as we plow forward into August. And I hope all of you are doing well. Leave me some comments. Send me a cake. I'd love some cake. Oh, that's a great idea. Send John some cake. Find a way for it to happen. Just not carrot cake. I hate carrot cake. Just so you know. Um, if you love carrot cake, you should have plenty of it. Have twice as much and think of me. So I will see you next week. Bye-bye.